Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today in this video, we will discuss how you can create a utility module in LWC. So let's first talk about what is utility module. So we can say utility module is a reusable component which do not have HTML file. And we can use this module in multiple components to share common code or we can say to create common methods and we can call those methods from different multiple components so in nutshell if you want to write common methods which can be used at multiple places so for that we can create utility modules and as we won't have a html file with utility module so we can't use it as a ui component we can only use this into another component to share common functions so now let's talk about the use case. So let's say you want to show toast messages in almost all the components in your org. And for that, you have to write code in every component to import and dispose toast events. So let me open my org and explain. So for the sake of this video, I have already created two components, component A and component B. And I have added those components to my app builder page. And in both these components, I'm showing multiple toast messages on clicking of these buttons like success, warning, and error. And same thing in the component B. Okay, so let me open my VS code to show the code of these components. So here I have component A and component B. So in my component B, I have three buttons and the same three buttons i have in my component a as well and if i'll open the javascript code in that case you can see here we have three methods and same three methods i have in the component b or uh, handle success click handle warning click and handle error click and this is the code to show the toast message so you can see over here we have lots of redundant code in every click handler in warning and error and same redundant code we have in the component a as well and there can be multiple components where we want to show same kind of toast messages so if you want to remove this code redundancy in that case what you can do you can create a utility module and you can define all these methods at a single place and from there you can call all those methods into other components so let me show you this in practical so let me create a new component as of now this is a simple component but if you want to make it as a utility component in that case what we need to do the first thing is we need to delete this html file And second thing is we will remove this default boilerplate code from the component file. So let me remove this code. Now this is a blank JavaScript file. Now let's start implementing those methods here. I have already created those methods in my notepad. So let me copy and paste here. Let me explain this code to you. On line number two, I am importing show toast event method from platform show toast event module. Here I have some constant for the variants like for success, error, and warning. Next, we have show toast method. In this method, I am taking component, variant, and title and message as an input parameter, and I am passing all these parameters to a show toast event method. Next, we have three different methods for the different variants like for the success toast, for the error toast, and for the warning toast. And in these methods, I'm calling the show toast method only, like this method only. And I'm passing all the required parameters like component and variant success and title, whatever title I'm getting from the user or default title I have defined success for this and whatever message I'm getting from the caller. Caller means like from where we are calling this method. Same thing I did in the error toast message and same in the warning also. 
at last i am exporting all these methods so we can import these methods into another components so importing and exporting is the feature of javascript i will create a separate video on these sometime in future and for now let's implement these methods into our components so let's start with component a so let me start importing those methods here and we do not require this module so let me remove this and let me add our component here so c will be the prefix with the custom components component name is the toast utility and let me copy the method name I have imported all these three methods here. Now let me implement success here and first parameter we will pass this because we want to pass uh, this component and second is the message and third parameter we have optional because we already defined success here so we do not need to pass it here it is not required to pass it so now let's remove this code and implement same thing with the other two methods Now let's implement same thing with the component B. Now let's quickly deploy and check into our application. Let me refresh the browser. Now let me click on this success. See, we are getting same message from the utility methods also. Warning, error, success, warning and error. In both components our toast messages are coming okay so now we have implemented our utility methods in both components and if you will see in the code then you will find very short and clean code see earlier we have lots of lines over here but now we have few lines over here and if you want to show toast messages in any other components in that case we just need to import that method and we need to call that method okay I have covered this toast message use case but in your case there may be different use case or requirement where you need to have common methods and those methods need to be implemented in many components in that case you can have all those methods into a utility module and from single place you can call those methods at multiple places okay so that's it for this video I will upload this code and paste link into the description and I am also working on more Salesforce videos and they will also helpful for you. So please like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.